The Warm Hug of Language, Unpacking, Teddy Bear. Hello, dear friends and language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a term that's as cuddly as it is popular, teddy bear. You've probably seen these fluffy companions in toy stores, movies, and in the arms of children worldwide. But have you ever wondered where this phrase comes from or what it exactly means in the English language? Stay with us as we explore the history, usage, and cultural significance of the term teddy bear. A teddy bear is a stuffed toy bear. It's typically made from soft fabrics and filled with a squeezable material which makes it perfect for cuddling. Teddy bears are a cherished gift for children and sometimes adults, symbolizing love, comfort, and security. But why, Teddy? The name comes from former United States President Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. The connection between a president and a child's toy might seem strange at first, but it's all down to a historic and rather endearing story we'll cover in the next section. The term Teddy Bear comes from an incident involving President Roosevelt in 1902. Roosevelt was on a hunting trip but refused to shoot a bear that was captured and tied up, declaring it unsportsmanlike. This event was popularized by a newspaper cartoon, leading to a toy maker creating a stuffed bear and naming it Teddy's Bear, after the president's nickname, Teddy. The name stuck, and thus, the teddy bear became a staple of childhood toys. Over time, the teddy bear has grown into more than just a toy. It has become a cultural icon appearing in stories, songs, and films. Teddy bears have also been used in therapeutic settings to help children and adults express emotions and recover from trauma. They play a significant role in celebrations, like Valentine's Day and Christmas, and are collectible items for enthusiasts around the world. In English-speaking countries, teddy bears have influenced the language, with phrases like, teddy bear hug, signifying a warm, affectionate embrace. When learning English, familiarizing yourself with common phrases and their origins can be incredibly beneficial. For example, Understanding the story behind Teddy Bear can make the language feel more personal and accessible. It also provides a historical and cultural context that enriches one's understanding of English. Try using the term Teddy Bear in sentences to practice your language skills. I slept with my teddy bear every night when I was a child, or he gave her a teddy bear for her birthday. And there you have it. A full embrace of the phrase, teddy bear, and its place in the English language. We hope this journey through history and culture has given you a new appreciation for this enduring term. Happy learning, and may you always find comfort in the language you're embracing, just as one finds comfort in a teddy bear hug. Until next time, keep the curiosity alive, and we'll see you in our next video.